Welcome to this video guys. We will be reviewing the paper two and Excel exam for A-level that took place yesterday. We'll be reviewing the difficulty of the paper. Uh, we'll be looking at the predicted paper that we did the solutions for and also looking forward to paper three. So I'll let you take it away, A-level maths coach. What did you think about the paper? Well, personally, I would... and, oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry to interrupt. Last time we had a few comments saying, please think of us students. So you have to put on your student hat here and review this paper. You can't think like a teacher with a maths degree. All right, so go ahead. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, that put me at difficulty now. I would say paper two, um, just like paper one, at least all the questions were accessible, just like paper one. Maybe if, if each question was, was in two parts, First part you can do, second part needs a bit of thinking. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, uh, I would say it was it was a nice paper, just um, as 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 paper one. I initially, I read a lot of comments online. They were already saying students that they felt a lot better coming out of the exam having done paper two. Uh, then again, it's all down to revision. So at least they can. I mean, if you have focused only on those topics that list was that was listed and the advanced information, that would obviously naturally would you would be more confident uh, moving into the exam. Could another reason also be that they saw paper one after they went in there and thought, oh my God, I need to prepare a lot better for paper two. And that's another reason. It, a lot of people said time, time was the main. Time was, you know was what, can I just factor. say something? Can I just say something? I'm gonna be honest here, I'm gonna put my hand up. If I was to do this paper in an exam, you know, in exam conditions, two hours, I feel I would struggle 100% to answer all those questions. I would struggle. I would, what do you reckon? I would get through it, but I know that I'm going to make a lot of silly mistakes you along know, the way. Because of the so pressure. Pressure and imagine as, a, the time as an 18 year old. And not enough time to go back and check your answers. Yeah. So, yeah, I that, mean. That, that, I'm hoping, you know what, at Excel, PSN will realize, because, the, you know, the uh, grade boundaries are quite low as well for the last few years when they've done this paper, like 56% or something has been a grade A, or was that an A star? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah it's been quite low. Um, so, I'm hoping that PSN would realize that. Maybe they've added too many questions for a two-hour exam for A-level. But I've noticed from the past that when they do give 16 questions, the paper is relatively um, easier compared to giving 14 questions. So mm. there was a, one or two papers where, where there was 14 questions. The actual questions were much more difficult. Much more difficult. What, so are you talking about the new spec? For the, for the, new the old spec. legacy spec. For the, okay. for the new spec. Even with oh. the legacy specs, it was the same, same situation. Mm. If they reduce the number of questions, that's when the questions are harder. Okay. In which case, it'd be, it could access less of the questions. Okay. So in that sense, 60 question, you can at least do half of each mm. of all the questions. So at least in that for an average student, they might get the, enough to get the great C. Okay. Um, or, to, or to get a good pass in that, in that sense. All right. Um, can we, so without looking through too much about solutions, all right, because we want to be careful about that. Um, can we look at the paper and say, in terms of, Questions, any questions that might have been troubling? I mean, there was one that I found, um, I mean, not troubling, but it was very different. You know, question number nine with the Ferris wheel. Yeah. And they were asking in that form, um, usually the R sign alpha sort of form. That was very different to how the questions have appeared for this particular question um, in, in, in recent years. So can we start with that? Yeah, they, they've given you, you know, the form in that form so they're not asking you to put in that form so that's like that's already like you're losing like three three four marks because a lot so of people will be used to exactly, putting into that be, form they'll comparing they, they, they'll practice so much and to get into that form and they'll be like oh yeah i can at least get three or four marks so and they that see that and they're like it's been oh, taken away oh, you're given now you know use that now to work out so this question yeah, was actually using the information in the question to substitute it in yeah. and find those values. So you're given the boundary conditions basically for, for that function. So I think a lot of students will be like looking forward towards that question. And, and I know I've been telling my students that this type of question would be 100% coming up. And the, it did come up, but just not the way that we would expect it. And yeah, I, like I think the, that's, that's our initial disappointment with this one. Yeah, what, what, else, what else would there be? Um, I think the best. I mean, was there um, it, it, it was a nice proof question. <laughs> the proof question, yes. You, you, I remember you, when we looked at that, you straight away go, oh, this is a nice proof question. I mean, um, I haven't done it yet, but I'm just saying that it's just plugging an even algebra, num an even expression, an odd number, an even number, plug mm. it in. I'm obviously in algebraic form because mm. it says proof. Uh, proof. Mm. So 
like 2K plus one and, so, and 2K plus some of the min show that, you know, it's even. You, you like that one. Yeah, usually the proof questions can be quite ambiguous and yeah, quite I difficult guess, to I guess, access. I guess the, the odd one would involve expanding triple brackets, but mm -hmm. it's still doable. Okay. All right, what else? Um, what about the questions? Um, did we have a lot of questions which were very mechanical? Which, what I mean by that is, you, you open up the question and you see it and you straight away know what to do. That would I think, be quite I think mechanical. Most, most, I would say most, very, very to the most of the questions were simple. Quite mechanical, yeah, like, like straight away. Question, question one, one, like straightforward, like solve it, modulus equation, solve mm -hmm. it. Question two, um, the basic log here and mm -hmm. sketch the exponential graph. Uh, the iteration one. That similar. one you had on the, yeah, yeah, question one and number three you had on the predictive paper. Yeah. We'll come to that, we'll briefly touch upon that just, later. Just work out the sequence yeah. and you know, notice the periodic mm. and then, you know, yeah. the summation. Um, differentiation from first principle. Yes, so we, 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 there was a lot of discussion about what they could ask and we did it as an extra, uh, the differentiation of uh, TANX. Yeah, uh, I luckily it didn't come up, but we did prepare just yeah. in case it did. All right, so moving on. Uh, I mean, so we had a lot of mechanical questions. Um, I think the last question, the uh, Even couple of last questions were quite good. Usually 14, last they, questions are quite hard, but they were actually nicer. The, the partial fraction was a nice one. Um, question the, 14 this is. And the differential equation, like similar one mm. to the one in the predicted paper we, we went through. Um, just rearrange it into that form. Yeah, I, I thought that was quite good. I had a few people asking, you know, um, geometric with, um, with, with trigger identities, you know, how, how, how can you how, come up? And you couldn't so, think of it, I remember. On the yeah, spot. You, on the, now on the spot. I'm looking at it. Oh, now you're like, oh, that's how, they, that's how they would have put it together. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that, was a, that was a good So, yeah, that was a. But even though it's, it's, it's mechanical, yeah. you just work yeah. out the, the, the common ratio, yeah. put it together, put and have the form. equation. That's fantastic. All right. And the last question, number 16. Oh, by the way, 16 questions once again. Yeah. As per the um, advanced points. information bullet points. All right. And the last question, parametric uh, equations. That was quite an, a nice one. Nice and yeah. so, well. so, there's plenty of marks there. I mean, 12 marks just from that question. So, all in all, um, paper two was much better, but again, it could have been because the shock of paper one and the amount of revision that students would have done for that. So let's look ahead to paper three now. What can they expect for statistics and mechanics? Mind you, two thirds of the paper has been completed for edXL. You did mention about AQA. That, what did you say about AQA? Well, with, with AQA, last time I've had a look at the exam papers. They do three papers like at Excel, but paper one, two and three, so the old, the paper one is just pure, two is mechanics, and three is statistics. Mm -hmm. So it's like each Are they equally paper weighted? is equally weighted. Okay. Right. But here, for the Excel, we've So pure two -thirds. is two thirds, 66.6 66 so recurring even if you percent. Just percent yeah. focus on, on the pure. So, I mean, a lot of students will be like, the bulk of their final grade has already been sort decided. of accounted and decided yeah. for them. Um, so, you know, one third to play for in the last paper, Statistics and Mechanics. If someone who wants to obviously get the top grades or somebody who hasn't done so well and they want to earn some more marks to get a decent grade, what kind of things can they look at for statistics and mechanics immediately? Some of the topics that they can focus on. I know the, um, the advanced information literally gave the whole chapter well, for statistics. Following the advanced information, like regression line and hypothesis test, that's basically chapter one of, of year two um, statistics. Mm -hmm. um, but are there any questions, rather than going through the advanced information, are there any questions that we can um, say to them, work on these ones more? Because they carry a lot of marks, they're well, quite the common. This, this is quite nicely done for statistics. Uh, so, hypothesis, so hypothesis testing? So hypothesis test is with regression line. That's yep. literally the chapter one. So on PM last, the last bit of chapter one on, on the year two book for mm. stats. Um, so maybe if you want to just skip to the end of the chapter of chapter one and then do the mix exercise on, on yeah. that. And past exam questions related yeah, to that. Um, yeah. Related to that. Uh, measure of schedule tendency, that's, that's the year one. Um, yep. So working out a mean sign deviation Stand uh, using summary statistics. So that's year one stats. Probability and Venn diagrams, so that's both year one and year two probability questions. So, um, so, so definitely expect that question on Venn diagrams. And with Venn, conditional with probability. probability with and, probability question on Venn diagrams, you're looking at using the uh, independent form, uh, rule, that probability of A times probability of B mm -hmm. equals the probability A and B. Yeah. Um, and, and the mutual exclusiveness mm -hmm. where probability A and B at intersection of that is equal to zero. And then you've got the conditional formula, probability formula, and so on. Mm -hmm. And normal distribution, so you're looking at um, doing hypothesis testing, 
But the last bullet point is hypothesis testing. So it could be either on a normal distribution with hypothesis testing. They haven't mentioned bi a binomial distribution. Hypothesis testing comes up quite a lot. Yeah. In every single paper that we've done. They, haven't, they haven't mentioned binomial distribution. Mm -hmm. um, they mentioned normal distribution and then a separate bullet point hypothesis test. So I'm assuming it could mm -hmm. be a normal one. Uh, okay. But then again, it says discrete probability distribution. Um, so... so Quite vague, yeah. in a but, but 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 if, if we had to give them some uh, questions to focus on rather than everything, because bearing in mind we said it's only one third, all yeah. right. So they don't want everything, maybe. maybe, right? yeah, maybe Normal with, distribution, with stats, Venn diagrams. With stats, maybe one question on each type yeah. could cover most of you know okay. all of stats. In right. That sense. Move on mechanics. to mechanics. Move on to mechanics now. Now mechanics is quite vast in in terms of like. Um, you know, we looked at inclined planes and the different types of inclined planes that you can get, uh, different situations. Uh, you've got some where you're attached to pulley systems. Um, you've got uh, the I've moments. Seen, with I've, the seen, I've seen questions that have been like, you've got a block on an inclined plane um, and the force holding it in place and you have to give the maximum and minimum force required. Oh, to make it, it, to, keep it yeah, to keep yeah. it, to keep it mm. in, in, in statics, to it's, keep it in its place. Okay, so, so looking, there's lots of types of variety there. Um, we've also got the, um, you know, the ladder questions and yeah, that's, turning that's and the moments, moment, that's moments, that's moments and different ways. Point, yeah. And so last year there was one where it was on a, uh, a sphere, uh, resting. Yeah, so, you know, that well, threw people that, off. Yeah, it's like um, you could have a, a beam resting against, against the floor, mm. but then you know, on the floor it could be, it could be on a rough surface or yeah. it could be hinged. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yes. both cases yeah. we have to yeah. have full So there's lots of different point. types uh, of uh, questions that you would have to do that. And we'll try to put that into a, uh, a short video that we can do. So obviously we can't cut, I mean, there's so much, with, with just one to subtopic of mechanics would yeah. be like a, our video. So we won't be able to cover that, but we'll try to do as many as we can. All right. Um, so we'll do that, guys. So well done. I mean, having achieved uh, two thirds, of the paper so far. One more to go, and um, we'll try to prepare you as best as we can for it. Thank you so much for all your support, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye for now. Yeah, bye.